So the lessons continue. Um, we're back. We're still parked on a little quiet street in Chelsea. Um, and you know, just learning is good. Learning is great. Um, they say that if you stop learning, you stop growing. So obviously I want to grow, so I'm going to keep on learning. And we're going to do something today called, um, what is it called crutch control. I'm baffled as well. I've got crutch control, I'm going to get to it. And also the mirrors, because apparently you have to do a cockpit check, which is checking the mirrors, we're going to do that. I just like driving. <laughs> Thank you, sir. My sweet little car. Oh, God. Oh, no. That boy is 25 years old, and he still has to get to a station, get on a train, and ring his mother to come and collect him because he doesn't have a driving license. It drives us all mad, and I have promised Dean, his instructor, a bottle of champagne, if not to marry me, if we can get Jamie through his test. Just take your time. I feel like I'm in the middle of the road. We are, so that's, where, we, that's where we've got to wait. Okay, gas ready, clutch up slow, commit for the turn. All right. It is going to be a massive relief when Jamie can drive. I've known Jamie for about four years and most of that has been driving him in a car. It'll be really interesting because Jamie loves telling everyone that he was a sports scholar at school, so therefore I should hope that he passed his first time. I think he'd be very disappointed if he doesn't. And when we go into the... Oh, that was a bit scary, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'll we'll take my paracetamols after. Yeah, oh, God. These big red things here are scary. Have you ever got on a bus before? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like when you used to go to school, yeah. <laughs> when, the, when the chauffeur was on holiday. Yeah. Well, overall, I was expecting it to be a lot worse than it is. We've been uh, approaching a few left turns, right turns. We even moved on to do a few crossroads today. Um, he's got a reasonable understanding, but I don't want him to get too above his station at this stage. For most of the time I've been uh, approaching the junctions with Jamie, we've been having to hit the dual controls, um, simply because the dual controls saved my life. Okay, much too fast on that approach there, much too fast. Very, very poor observation. We're going to take that a little bit slower next time, fella. I think he's finding it hard, hard to uh, digest that I am the, I'm the teacher. He's used to giving orders rather than taking them. Um, but overall, it's, it's quite an enjoyable experience. I wish he'd spot the signs as well as he was spotting the young ladies that are walking past. Yeah. You two at that speed. Look how impressed that girl was with me. She, she looked across and she's like, oh my God, that guy's such a good driver. <laughs> you know what, the lessons are going good. Like, um, I'm still alive. Dean is still alive. Um, the car hasn't got a scratch on it. Like, there's, you know, nothing wrong with it. You know, today I learned crutch control. So that's why I wore these trousers, but then I found out there's actually clutch control. I only got those one set of pedals. In this car, there are like two sets of pedals. So Dean has one and I have pedals as well, but he keeps using his ones. So I'm getting annoyed. I'm like, stop using your pedals. Like, obviously this is my, like, he, I think it's jealousy, because he, he told me he loves driving. I was like, well, you know, you get to drive the entire time. This is my time to drive. And apart from that, um, it was fun. I enjoyed it and I can't wait, you know, I can't wait to keep driving. I want to do reversing and a hill start, because apparently that's scary. <laughs> but yeah, it's all good.